Hi, this is Derek with Yeti Snow MX. We're going to show you how to install the RRS kit on your, your brand new Yeti. Here we have the parts that come in your kit. It's your two new side plates. This one has the, the adapters already pressed in, but in some cases they may not be. You will have a, an install kit for pressing these pieces in. So we have the two side plates that you have to replace, your new tensioner with the spring, and your two sleeves that fit inside the IGUS bearings. Here's your shock, but you won't need that until you install the kit on the bike. For those of you that don't have the adapters pressed into the plates, we'll show you how to do it. Okay, now we'll install your adapter, your bike adapter, into the plate. First, a little bit of lubrication. Now each, each of these adapters has two bolts, a short one and a long one. The short one belongs on the outside and the long one belongs on the inside. But for just for assembly purposes, it's easy just to install the long bolt to guide it. And then we'll press it in with this special tool that we have. It should come with your kit. two 13 millimeter wrenches and just tighten it up. There's your adapter installed. Now, this bolt belongs on the other side, so take it back out. A little bit of Loctite. And install it. And then the short bolt a little bit of Loctite and install that too. And torque those bolts up 22 foot pounds. Now we'll show you how to install your RRS kit on your Yeti. We have to replace the bike mount plates with our new ones with the larger adapters. We have to remove these two bolts here, these three bolts here, the nut three bolts on this side and pull the bolt out. You have the special socket, comes with your kit, it will remove the outside nut. You have a five mil Allen, pull these two bolts out the center. Slide out your, your big bolt. The 12 mil socket, and we'll remove these three. When you remove this one, this one has a T-nut behind it. It sits in a slot. Just make sure it sits vertical. Now we'll install the new one. Install the rod end. T nut that sits vertical. Now to the other side. Okay, the plates are installed. I left all the bolts on the outside uh, just loose so that we can set our chain tension later. The two bolts in the center are reinstalled with blue Loctite and, and snugged up. Now we'll install your, your chain tensioner and spring. Get it started on the edge, tuck the spring under, push it into the hole, and it's ready to go. 
Don't forget to install your bushings. Now you're ready to install it on the bike.